Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to give you a kitchen tour of our camper van. We put a lot of work into this design and layout and materials, so we wanted to go over the layout itself, the cost of everything we had to buy, and some of the things we love and then some of the things that we might change if we did this again. Yes, and we will also give you um, links and websites where you can find everything that we have in here. For those of you who don't know us, I'm Kaylee. And I'm David. And we run a travel and adventure blog called Made to Explore. We are passionate about activities that get you outside and off the beaten path. And we have also converted this 2005 Dodge Sprinter into a camper van and been traveling around in it for about a year now. So let's get to the kitchen. Yeah, let's show ya. Show ya! All right, so this is our kitchen. We really, really love the way that it turned out. Um, I'll give you a little tour and kind of tell you why we did what we did. So up top here, we have got cupboard. This is kind of where we put um, like fruit and vegetables. It doesn't need to go in the fridge, bread. We've got all of our spices, tea, coffee, things like that. And in this cabinet, we actually have two bins that just have like our shampoo, kind of our toiletries, and then some cups and some coffee filters. Underneath there, we've got these lights that just switch on um and off and they're actually motion motion censored which is quite nice as well next up we've got a pull out pantry so this has got magnets on it it sticks pretty good but this is pretty much where all of our dry food lives which is really nice and then up here equivalent to a drunk every time drunk drawer <laughs> drunk drawer ironically it's not where we keep our liquor yeah this is our junk drawer up top um we just didn't want to waste the space so it's just kind of nice to have a little bit of extra storage up there we've got our knife rack that we put all of our knives and um, we've got our little thermometer on here as well as our spatulas and such underneath the pantry we've got our dometic fridge which we just posted a review on so you can check that out we'll link it in the description below um, but it has got quite a lot of storage in it. We've actually never completely filled it up. The Medic CRX 110, folks. Next up, we've got our propane stove. So David actually has a really good video on this that he also just made. So we'll link that in the description below as well. It's only about $250 on Amazon. And we would highly recommend having a stove like this over um, a camp stove that you take out and put on top of your counter. Um, I guess if you're only going to be using your van for one to two nights at a time, you don't really plan on cooking in it, you could go with a camp stove, but this is so, so handy for us when we're using it multiple times a day um, for tons of days in a row. So the propane um, cabinet is actually just located under this drawer, which we'll get to in a minute. But yeah, super handy and we've got two burners. When we're using it, we just make sure to open up the window and our max air fan just to get some airflow through here and it's been great. This stick on tile, I really, really wanted a tile backsplash in here, um, but we were pretty concerned about having grout and it being heavy and with the van moving, it just, we didn't think it was gonna work. So we found this stick on tile from Lowe's, I believe, and it's a little bit expensive, but you don't need a lot of it. And it's super thin, you just stick it right onto your wall, and it's been on there for over a year now. We've never had any issues. So we would definitely recommend that if you're going for the tile look in a van, it's just a lot easier than actually um, tiling your backsplash. Our butcher block countertop we also got from Lowe's and it was on a clearance sale, which was amazing for us. I think it was the last one left in Calgary when we bought it for like $100 or something <laughs> ridiculous. We actually used it for the countertop and also for our pull-up table, which we'll show you in a little bit. But we cut out this top bit that fits in here, which is super nice. Obviously, counter space is very limited in a van, so it's nice to have some extra when we need it. And then when we want to use the sink, we just pop it right back in. The sink, we love this faucet. We also bought this on Amazon. Comes out, you can change the stream. It's actually, the water's not running right now because it is very cold here in Canada right now. It's the middle of winter. But um, in the summer months, I guess like eight months a year, we have the water running. We bought this sink off of Amazon. We love the stainless steel. 
All right, so going through the cupboards along the bottom here, underneath the stove, we have just cutlery and some measuring cups and some other utensils that fit really well because the stove is so thin. It was really nice being able to actually have this drawer. So after that, we kind of have a miscellaneous drawer here. There's some bowls, our toaster, our kettle, and then um, some coffee making stuff and a battery operated blender in this guy. And then underneath that, we have our pots and pans in the bottom here with a little rack. And this is also a drying mat that we use when we're doing the dishes. And yeah, that is pretty well everything in these drawers. And then moving over to underneath the sink. Because our sink is so deep, we don't have a lot of storage room underneath here, but as Kaylee showed you earlier, we have our butcher block that covers our sink. We have our garbage can, and then we have a little basket <laughs> yeah. with cleaning supplies. Cleaning supplies basket, that's what you could call this. And then behind the cleaning supplies basket, we have our vented propane cabinet. Um, this cabinet holds a 11 pound propane tank that fuels our propane stove, obviously. Um, check out the video for that one. We actually have also underneath is we have two switches. One switch is for the 12 volt water pump. And then the other switch is for our hot water tank. So if we ever want hot water or we want to turn our water pump on and off, we can just reach back there and switch them on and off. And then last up over here in our kitchen, we have cups, bowls, plates, and this also has a magnetized bottom. It's kind of like a paper magnet that helps keep everything in its place. Works really well. Underneath there, we have actually just some towels in here. And then this is actually just Kaylee's uh, sweater drawer. Really, <laughs> with uh, we have some foot warmers and some hand warmers in here because it is freezing currently in Canada, and they come handy. <laughs> yeah, we were actually planning to use those drawers for kitchen storage. Um, one of the biggest things when designing the van kitchen was we just wanted to have as much storage as possible, but we actually were ran out of things to store, which was great. So we could use those two drawers for towels and clothes. We also have a little basket, magnetic basket in our sink, which works well for holding the plug and any wet dishcloths. And actually this is really nice. This we got off Amazon and it basically just sits on top of this cupboard door and holds our drying towel. Last up is our kitchen table, which we actually have a dedicated video on. If you want to check out how we framed our bed, including this table, check out that video. Um, the table is really nice. It's really solid. We also use the butcher block from the kitchen as our tabletop. Oops. Locks in place, locks all the way out. Very convenient. And then we also have two more drawers here and they are just closed storage. So if you're wondering why we did the slide out table, we actually put a lot of thought into our bed table situation. Um, and we decided to do the slide out table with a full permanent bed that doesn't convert from chairs and a table. Um, a, because sleeping on a converted bed sucks. The mattresses are <laughs> little. Every day having to convert the um, table to a bed and bed to a table multiple times a day is kind of a pain in the ass. So we decided to do a pullout table just to maximize on our space. It's completely hidden under the bed when we don't need it and we can just pull it out anytime we want to eat. Next up, we're gonna be breaking down the cost for you guys because you want to do this as cheap as possible. We tended to buy products um, for as least amount of money while still maintaining quality. To start off, we purchased all of these cabinets and doors from Ikea, except for this little guy up there. They worked out super well. It made it really easy to build everything and put everything together. I am no cabinet maker and I didn't have the tools required to make all the cabinets myself. It is a lot of effort, especially with the van not being square. So picking up Ikea cabinets made things super easy. Their hinges 
are very durable and well made as well as their sliders and we purchased the soft closing hinges which uh, make things really nice they obviously just close easier and they don't slam. We also used magnets on every door so they don't open when we're driving along on a bumpy road. We ordered all of these black handles off of Amazon and we think they look really good. We kind of did the black theme all over the kitchen. For the cabinets up top here too, I actually built the back parts. Uh, don't look too close at them because they're not that nice. <laughs> but they work out really well. I just used three quarter inch plywood basically. Um, and built boxes and it took a while to size everything accordingly, but they turned out well and the Ikea doors obviously make them look good on the outside <laughs> <laughs> So the cabinets all in all costed about a thousand dollars Canadian to do our kitchen It is a little more expensive, but the quality and the time it took um, was just huge for us. The sink and the faucet we ordered off Amazon and the sink was about $200. The faucet was about $140. They were definitely on the cheaper side but the quality is really good and they have worked out really well and held up really well. That is everything to do with the sink. The propane cabinet and the propane stove top together are about $300, $350. We also purchased this on Amazon as well. And that includes the propane tank and the vented cabinet, everything you would need for that. The stick on tile is probably more than you think it would be. We spent about $200 from Lowe's on the stick on tile, um, but it goes up so easy and it was just well worth the money. Yeah. This magnetic thing <laughs> that holds our knives and our spatulas was $10 from Ikea. The Dometic fridge, you don't even want to know, but I'm going to tell you anyways because it is one of the things that we love about this kitchen. This fridge was about $20, $200 Canadian. That is all to do with quality and efficiency, basically. Yeah, we go a lot more into detail of that in our fridge video, which we will have linked below. That's right. For the butcher block, we got it at a huge discount um, and it was partially damaged when we picked it up, which we were okay with. It was about $100 Canadian from Rona. Smoking deal for a butcher block for sure. And then the sliders to go with the pullout table were about $200 off of Amazon and we'll link those below if you wanna check those out in the description. So in total, that brings our kitchen to about $4,400. Ouch. Yeah, this is Canadian. The fridge is half that. Yeah, like so it sounds like a lot mind. when you say it, but also the kitchen is a huge part of your van. It's where you're spending a mm -hmm. lot of your money. And in our experience and our opinions, it is really worth it to just pay for quality stuff. We're about a year in now and everything's holding up amazingly. I guess if you wanted to build your own cabinets, you could potentially save a little bit of money there, but you also... So much time. So much work. Yeah. The amount of time that you'll put into that will be, unless you're a cabinet maker and you have all the equipment and yeah, the tools, it just, it would... Yeah, yeah, the IKEA cabinets are really, and they're really reasonably priced. They are. And lastly, number one thing we would do differently, we would have bought a shallower sink. Mm-hmm. Standing up next to the sink, you have to bend over a lot because it's so deep and do dishes because you don't want to use a ton of water to fill it all the way up. There is a plus side to it though as well because you can hide a lot of dish dirty dishes. Yeah, so it. when we first got the sink, we were pumped that it was so deep because we'll also, mm -hmm. <laughs> Bailey fits in it so we can give her baths when she gets sure. dirty in the sink, yeah. which is nice. Sure. Um, but yeah, like you can stack a bunch of dishes in there and then you can just put the little butcher block thing mm -hmm. on top if someone's coming in or you don't want to look at them and that part is great. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately it's a bit of a pain when you're trying to do dishes. It's hard on your back and it uses a lot of water. Mm -hmm. I think the next thing that we would do dish... <laughs> Dishesly. <laughs> the next thing we would do differently is moving the propane stove a little closer to the end of the cabinet because it gives off so much heat. We have like a little heat reflector that we put on the back but it does warm up the tile along the backsplash quite a bit. So I think we probably should have shifted it a little, a little more forward. further. Yeah. And yeah, just kind of go as far forward as you can, especially mm -hmm. if you're doing the tile. We've never had issues, but we did read a warning when we were installing the tile that you're not supposed to put it within however many inches of 
a heat source, yeah. and it is certainly well within that amount. But but it hasn't done any damage. We've so. been careful, yeah. Yeah. When we first installed the stove top, I put the propane tank in the back underneath the bed, and we turn the propane off whenever we're not using the stove. So going back around the van and then coming back using the stove and then going back out to shut it off was just, uh, it was a huge pain. So we ended up relocating it underneath the sink and that has worked phenomenally. It's, it's so been nice. so much easier, yeah. What do you love most about your kitchen? It's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I, I mean, obviously there's a lot of things I really like about it, it's but nice. this kitchen is like our dream. It's, it's very like, user friendly. Yeah, yeah. I think mine like is very user friendly. You have the sink, the stove, the fridge, everything is just, and we do have a lot of counter space. Yeah, considering lots of counter space, lots of cabinets, like yeah. that was, storage. I feel like I say this so many times, but that's just when you're building a camper van, put as much storage in as you possibly can mm -hmm. because you will fill it. I like that we have everything is magnetized actually, like everything yeah. stays shut, we have a home for everything. Nothing rattles around Nothing when we're driving, it's pretty quiet. Again, if you want to check out any of these products that we used, check them out in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe to our channel. Let us know what you liked about our kitchen or if you really didn't like something, comment below. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you. We'd also love to hear if you did a kitchen build that's different from ours. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you did. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one.